<laughs> Hi, it's Patrick Regan here from Kintsugi Hope. Now we are in the Kintsugi Hope office and I am here to explain to you how to apply to run a Kintsugi Hope well-being group. And uh, this is the anointed desk. Uh, I don't know if you can see here all my healthy snacks. Um, we have the team here, we have Dines here, Ludovine's here. Dines a little bit bitter at the moment because I'm beating her on Weight Watchers, as you can see, that I'm incredibly healthy, so you need to pray for her. Um, but we're really excited about the Kintsugi wellbeing groups. And uh, on the website, if you go to the front page, you can download two things. You can download the brochure that's been modeled now by Ludovine over here. And uh, if you open up the brochure, you will see the 12 weeks Ludovine, next, next page, next page, next page. The 12 weeks! Not that page, Ludovine. Oh my god. <laughs> the 12 weeks! <laughs> How hard can it be? How hard can it be, people? How hard can it be? The 12 weeks, um, which um, will show you the different weeks of Kintsugi Hope. Now, um, also what you will have is the application pack, which I will explain in a minute. Um, Kintsugi Wellbeing Groups, they have three real points to them. One is we want to give people self-management tools um, to cope with what they're going through in life. Two is um, peer uh, facilitated mentoring. And thirdly, to signpost people um, to extra help if they need it. Um, there's two ways of starting a group. You can start it in an existing small group, a home group, a connect group. Um, we did this, that was beautiful because we invited people to our, from our community to join. And after 12 weeks, they just stay because you know you spent 12 weeks really getting to know people. And uh, so it's, it's, it's an amazing follow through. People say, what about the end? Well, that's brilliant. You're almost growing your church that way. Um, secondly, people have gone, you know what? I'm involved in this homeless hostel, could we run it there? Or I'm involved in being a chaplain at a football club, or I'm involved in um, well-being cafes, or, or doing stuff in pubs. And So it could start from scratch, and it could start anywhere. We've had people suggest, you know, mums who suffer from postnatal depression, could we run a group for them? So it's really an amazing opportunity to reach out to your community. Now this pack that we have here, at the back of the pack, we have what's called a frequently asked questions modeled by Diane. Now, the thing about frequently asked questions is some of you are not reading this and uh, we need you to read it because there's loads of your questions are answered there. If you have a question that's not answered there, please contact Diane because she obviously hasn't thought about it enough <laughs> and uh, we need to be able to answer your questions. The pack is divided into four sections. The first section is the church partnership section. And, uh, and people are like, why are you only running it through the local church? And it's simple really, um, we exist to serve the local church. We also want our group leaders to be supported by the local church and accountable to the local church. And uh, so the whole first section, um, which Diane's holding up, is how do you become a partner church with Kintsugi Hope? And uh, people ask, um, is there financial contribution? Um, we have to ask for one, honestly, because we can't run this place on thin air. But what we say is it can be a small monthly amount or it can be an annual amount. You can take a, a collection and, and just pay it annually. Um, once you sign up to a partner church, you can send as many people as you want on the training. Section two, modelled by Ludovine, she's managed to only hold the right one up this time, um, <laughs> is a checklist, which means has your church got all the necessary things in place to run a wellbeing course? Things like safeguarding, things like insurance. So it's really helpful little tick box, which you can check that you guys are up for this. The third section is a section around the group leader. Who do you want to recommend to lead this course? You know, you might want to say, well, Patrick Regan would make a fantastic group leader and you'd fill in his details and you're nominating him um, to run the group. At that point, you can send it to us and then we can start processing your application. Um, if you want to be extremely helpful, um, section four is for the group leader to fill in. So this is like them um, just telling us more about them. Um, you could fill that in at the same time, which would be really helpful, um, or you can get them to send it in separately. 
And then after that, there'll be a training weekend that you can attend. They're normally Friday, Saturday. They're incredibly fun, incredibly interactive. Um, every group leader needs to complete one of these in order to be able to run a well-being course in their community. Once you've done that, you're good to go. Um, you'll also be able to um, uh, uh, get our Facebook Live sessions, which happen every week, which gives you more information about how to do it. The material's always growing and changing. People come up with such amazing ideas. The first training uh, weekend is in Chompsford, which is about 35 minutes away from Liverpool Street, and it's on the 24th and 25th of October. That's right, isn't it? 25th, 26th. The 25th and the 26th of October, just like I said, that's why Ludovine's here, brilliant. And uh, 25th, 26th of October, and it's going to be a brilliant, brilliant weekend. Um, our values as an organisation are authenticity, um, honesty, generosity and relationship. And I guess the reason we're setting this up the way we are is relationships actually the most important thing. I think um, people are more, always more important than programmes. And actually, we don't really just want this to be another course that the church run. We think mental and emotional health and this whole area that affects all of us needs to be part of what the church is. That's why I love the idea of it being part of small groups um, in whatever context. And uh, so please, we would love to partner with you and uh, become a part of the church. You know, we send speakers, we, we try and give resources. It really is about relationship. And if you have any questions, I'm um, joking aside, please contact us at the office. We really genuinely want to serve. We genuinely want to see a movement of people being in safe and supportive spaces across this country. So thank you. Get applying. Um, it will be helpful even though the training is not till October, the first one, and then there'll be other ones in the new year. If you could apply soonish, which helps us to process the amount of applications that we'll get in on. Uh, the deadline for October, September the 20th, but if you can process, obviously if you start the financial contribution, you can start that later in the year. God bless, thank you for watching, and uh, do pray for dying on Weight Watchers. That'd be fantastic.